As part of the March 23rd CST update, we get rentable cases. A massive change to the landscape of skins. I'm unsure how I feel about this update, so I wanted to lay out a list of pros and cons as I see it. Pros. Play with some more expensive skins at a small cost. Players get a short access to play with some of the most expensive skins in the game for a much cheaper fee. This can be seen as either try before you buy or a form of short term gratification. A cheaper entry point to skins is probably a good thing or a free hit of a irresistible substance. Reducing case supply. Renting essentially just deletes a case and therefore a potential skin. In the long run, both the supply of cases and the supply of each skin will be lower. So either investors or people who own those skins should be happy with the value of their skin over a longer period of time. I think the rarity of skins, although completely artificial, is both essential and unique to the game's economy. And this is why these cosmetics are so much more interesting than what other games offer. It's not gambling. Many countries, most recently China, are cracking down on cases of gambling. Including the renting feature means that Valve still have a way to earn some money from those players and players have a way of using those skins. Owning skins is still cheaper over time due to the fact that cases eventually come out of active drop rotation that you can sell these skins for money and you can obviously hold on to them for as long as you desire earning the real skin will always make more financial sense given you play the game regularly now some cons cheaters other players within games don't know whether you own the skins or just renting them. Seeing a player with high value skins could lead to the previously held idea that surely a player with such expensive skins couldn't be cheating. This point I'm not too sure about even though I think it does have some credibility. Everyone knowing that rentable skins are a thing now might make this point obsolete. It lowers the value of rentable skins. For the duration of the case's rentable period, if that's going to be a thing, we'll touch on that later, skins within that case will be much cheaper than normal. Items in CS only hold a perceived value. If someone sees you have a skin from a rentable case, its perceived value is less as you could just be renting it. Also, why buy a $200 skin when you could rent it over a couple months for much less? Now, this point could be seen as a pro as well given the lower supply and they are much cheaper now, meaning that a potential investment is actually better in the long run. Who knows how this will actually play out though? Now, what's unknown? We don't really know how Valve are going to continue to implement rentable skins. Is it only going to be the newest case? Is it only going to be CS2 case? in the active drop pool? Is it a one-time purchase, limiting players from being able to continuously rent skins? We don't really know. Given these unknowns, both these pros and cons aren't even really definitive. Overall, my first reaction to this update was that I didn't like it. But after giving it some thought and actually thinking about how it affects the market and skins in general, I actually think this will probably be a positive change. I don't pretend to know what I'm talking about. This is just what I think. And of course, we'll just all see how this eventually plays out over time. Also, great changes to AM Vertigo, the CT hold seems to be far more manageable. The M4A4 getting some love, love to see it. Insane nerf, visual change and reduced price, I like it. And chickens, your hard work has finally paid off.